Joe, I'm going to kick it off to you. How do you balance your portfolio with those two different thoughts in mind? Well, it's interesting because I think last week we went through this uh, fear surrounding growth peaking and also what Fed policy might be looking forward. I'm less concerned about the market impact, Frank, on a tapering. Uh, the reality is the real concern would be if this con consumer-driven economy, this consumer-driven asset price appreciation, if there was an obstacle to that. Well, the obstacle doesn't come in the form of a taper. The obstacle comes in the form of a rise in interest rates. So that's something that is much further down the timeline for investors to worry about. I think we had a significant overreaction last week uh, related to the concerns surrounding Fed policy. And ultimately, what does it lead to? It, looks, it leads to a tape that looks like today in which you have this chase for performance this rotation back into the market. You called it risk on, but it really is about people that last week kind of played into that negative thought process and paired back positions. Now they are racing to get right back in again. And I think that's the danger in kind of allocating towards the premise of tapering being a concern for risk assets. I don't see it as that. I think interest rates are the bigger concern, and that's further down the line. You know, interest rates certainly concerns. Surat, I want to come over to you. Uh, UBS out with a note saying the S&P looks set for 5000 right now just under 4500 The note also adds that rising input costs are being more than offset by rising revenues, protecting margins. So when you're looking for stocks in this market, what are you looking at? So, Frank, I'm looking for rising earnings. I think the multiple of the S&P has pretty much peaked. And for us to get to that next level, it's going to be earnings. And, and you're right. The companies that have higher input prices seem to be passing it on and seem to be growing revenues. They are being rewarded very well by the stock market. And those that have missed earnings, especially one, what we just saw in the past quarter. So companies in sectors like the financials, like the industrials, and even tech uh, have been doing well. And you've seen a little bit now come back on healthcare. So that's going to rise. That's going to lead to a rising stock market. It's not really going to be any more multiple expansion because to Joe's point, I think when rates do start moving, even with the hint of moving, the discount rate's going to affect some of these stocks. But no question, I think earnings are strong. They're going to get they're going to be strong for the next couple of quarters. And I, I'm pretty positive of the market going forward from here. So, Brent, a lot of talk about rates right now. We know the Fed meetings coming up, some talk about tapering, some concerns about COVID-19 and the Delta variant. Where are you at right now? Is it about growth or about value in this current environment? Well, I think I think Surratt hit it right spot on. This is about earnings. And so ultimately, we know this, that earnings drive returns in the long term. What you have over the last few weeks, though, is I think you definitely got the sense that, you know, the market, especially the value names, had sold off. And so that was a great opportunity the last few weeks to pick up some of those high-quality names. Like I bought a, a Freeport McMoran last night, last week that is very levered to the economy, the global economy. I do think, though, that right now the sentiment is shifting back, to your point, to risk on. <laughs> when you have, you know, the Jackson Hall meeting going virtual, you also have, you know, you also have um, Kaplan coming out, you know, the Dallas Fed president saying that if we do have Delta continue to weigh on the economy, he, who is one of the most hawkish of, of, of the Fed president, said, well, he would be open to pushing out his, I think, original October suggestion of tapering. And so I think you're going to continue to see this, you know, Delta variant. As much as we'd all like to get rid of it, it's, it seems to be here to stay. And that, to me, that narrative of how that moves to the economy is still going to define what the Fed does. But I think ultimately the Fed is going to risk being late, meaning late to taper and late to raise rates, which has broader implications to inflation longer term.